Hey there, this is Dave. I uh, just want to show you something of a workflow for exporting images as a collection or exporting collections or collection set as a new collection so that they can be transported by disk to another location. This is how you will do the week four homework. So it starts out with needing to make a collection set. That's the container for other collections that looks like a file cabinet drawer. You do that by clicking on the plus sign next to collections. Make sure that you're actually it's easier to do them in the library for a lot of people. Just get a little bit of a different setup. So in any event, you click on the plus symbol here and you go to create collection set. You name your collection set. Or maybe in this case, uh, do it this way. or however you want to type it in so that I know it's yours. All right, how about that? And you don't need to put it inside anything. Just hit Create. And all that does is it creates a collection set, but that set is empty. There's nothing in it yet. So the next thing is that you're going to do is create a collection, a regular collection. So you go create collection, put it inside the set you just made. Mm, I've got so many sets here. I have to go look for it. There it is. And just call it, you can call it whatever you want. You can just call it sample collection, for instance. Hit create. And while you're at it, um, you can make a smart collection as well. Now, I haven't put anything in this collection yet, so here's how I would do that. I could select a group of images. I just did a shift select using mouse, shift, click, select. And I can drag these directly up and drop them into the collection I made. See, there's number five there. The other thing you can do is you can pre-select the things that you want to put in the collection and then when you make the collection it'll add something like this. It'll say include selected photos. So the next thing I want you to do is make a smart collection. We did this in class. This time you go create smart collection. You can call it my smart collection or whatever you want. Put it also in the same set that you put the others in, making sure that you do that. And then you're going to have to give this smart collection some attribute or some instruction to find photos. The best way to do that is to either ask for photos that have been given a certain rating um, or their file name. So you could go down here to um, file name. File name contains, hmm, let's see, I could put um, SCCA in this case, which is because these photos here are ones I photographed um, at Seattle Central. So file name contains, and then the other thing is I want you to add a second attribute. So you click on the plus symbol, and in this case the rating could be four stars, because I happen to know that these are four stars. So for you, you would choose any two attributes that you could assign to some of your photos. And that may mean that you need to first select a large group of photos so that you have these things um, to pluck from. Okay? Or you may just select your whole catalog up here and then ask for um, images that have star ratings or names that are within that catalog. Instead of file name, you could also instead choose other metadata and say keywords, and that would also grab those. So you just have to be really specific as to what kind of thing you're looking for, whether it contains it or is greater than an equal. So just be sure that you look at what you're doing, otherwise the smart collection may not work as expected. Hit create, and that smart collection grabbed 15 images. It even grabbed some things from prior year. Now, I'm going to have you make one more thing, and that's called a target collection. So if you click on your collection set, 
Then when you go to make your next collection, it'll automatically say, put inside a collection set, and it'll have the, that one will be highlighted. This time you select target collection. So I'm going to call this Dave's, Dave's target collection. All right. Now, in order to put things in a target collection, you have to click on it and you could be in this mode, it doesn't matter, hit the letter B, the letter B as in boy, and that sends it to the target collection. So I'm just using my arrow keys, or I could use my mouse to click on them, hit B, and that's what sends it to the target collection, the letter B. And if you want to take something out of the collection, the target collection, you just simply hit letter B again. <clears throat> so I'm going to click on the target collection so I can see what's in it, and if I wanted to remove this photo, I just hit the letter B again, and it jumps out of the collection. Once you're done with that, I want you to take this homework collection set, go to File, Export as Catalog, which actually makes a new Lightroom catalog, and you're going to call it Week for Homework. be helpful if I spell that right. And make sure you put your name here and an underscore. It would help if I spelled my own name right. There we go. Save it to your desktop. And this is very important. You can select all of these things except export negative files. I do not want your files. I only want the collection. So make sure you do that. Otherwise, it's going to be a much larger file or folder than you intend. I'm also going to deselect that because I happen to have a, an image selected, so it was looking for that. So you don't want to export photos or negative files. Just previews and name your, name your catalog and export. And it takes very little time. And then if you look on your desktop, double click that folder that just appeared. That should be all you need to hand in. Very small. And that's all you need. Yours may not have the previews, um, the smart previews file, but that's okay. That's just because my files do have smart previews. And if you get a warning like that, don't worry about it. And that's it. Thank you very much. End of video.